Now to a developing story. The cross-examination is done for the night in the trial for Madalena Kojakari's stepfather, America Bryant. I'm Scott Wickersham. Christopher Palmiter is accused of failing to report the Cornelius girl missing. Our Hunter Signs is live at the courthouse, and today defense attorneys played some new recordings for the jury that they say were between Palmiter and his wife. Tell us about that, Hunter. Yes, Scott, two recordings were played out for the jury, and Christopher Palmiter's attorneys say they show how Diana Kojakari would harshly confront her husband about things during that time span in which police say Madalena was missing. Now, in both of those recordings, Diana and Palmiter were heard arguing, and she'd use Madalena's name in the conversations. The defense said that showed that Palmiter was led on to believe that Madalena was with her mom during that time span, as he worked long days outside Greensboro and even took a trip to Michigan. Now, Palmiter's defense team tried to show the jury different examples of Deanna talking about Madalena, at times saying she was sick or in her bedroom or sleeping during the time span when police say she was actually missing. His defense attorney tried painting a picture for the jury that Palmiter was led on to believe that Madalena was okay and at their house with Deanna during that time span. But today, for the first time, we heard what Palmiter thinks happened to Madalena. Where do you think Madalena is? I think Diana took her somewhere with maybe her Moldovan family. I don't know. Um, but I believe that Diana has tucked her away somewhere where she's not going to be found. Now, late this afternoon, the prosecutor started his cross-examination, peppering Palmiter with multiple questions. He pointed out that Madalena called Palmiter dad and that he called her his daughter when talking with Cornelius police. The state was trying to show the jury that he was Madalena's father figure and she was partially his responsibility. And the prosecutor also pointed out small things, wondering how Palmiter could have missed certain signs that Madalena was missing and was not in their house. Do you remember how <coughs> over the years that one of Madalena's favorite things to do would be jump on her bed? Yes. Remember how it would keep you up at night? Yeah. You never heard her jumping on her bed when you slept in your house after November the 26th, did you? Now, we also learned today that as of last week, Diana Kojakari has been staying with Christopher Palmiter at their Cornelius home. If you remember, just last week, she pleaded guilty to failing to report Madalena Kojakari missing, and she was let out of jail after time served. Cross-examination of Mr. Palmiter continues here tomorrow, and we will bring any updates tomorrow here on Channel 9. Live outside the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, Hunter Signs, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Yeah, Hunter, after months of us speculating and hearing nothing, a lot of details coming out in this particular case from this testimony. Thank you.